So I am going to be working today with a brand new set. It's called Sweet Ice Cream and it, you can purchase it in a bundle and save 10%. So it is a punch bundle. I love punches. Don't get me wrong, I love dyes too. Sometimes punches are easier when you're mass producing things because you can just stamp, 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 punch, punch, punch. But um, yes, I love this set. Um, it's probably one of my favorites. And you know what? Who am I kidding? The whole mini catalog and celebration are my favorites. I don't think that I could choose one. But for today, this is the one that I chose to use. Um, we're going to do three projects with it, three cards. Um, it is cute. Wait till you see what it does. And the designer series paper. The collection suite is actually on back order right now. Um, but it's still orderable. It's just on back order. But you can still order things separately and still get them. So I have been cutting the paper and using it. Which you guys don't hoard your paper. Cut them and use them because um, that's what it's for. And it makes such beautiful cards. Okay, so this is, let me get this right. This is the Ice Cream Corner Designer Series paper. It's got the coordinating colors on the back so you know what coordinates with it. Um, I actually threw in another co um, color that isn't on here that I think goes beautifully with it. And we're gonna use that in one of our projects. But the colors is Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Bumblebee, Cinnamon Cider, Old Olive, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Purple Posy, So Saffron, um, soft sea foam, terracotta tile, and whisper white. Okay, so let me show you these. So this, we're using this pattern today, and this, isn't this cool? And you can punch out your ice creams with this, and I'll show you that too. And then this is one side, and isn't that, it's so bright and cheerful and so much fun. And then we have stripes, and then we have the purples and terracotta tile. And I actually think, and I used it, and you guys can tell me what you think, but I threw in um, Flirty Flamingo with that, and I think it looks really great. Then we have this one. I love this one too. It's so bright and cheerful. Then we have our ice cream pattern on the back. And you get two sheets of each design in this pack of paper. Um, then we have the purples and then the, the stripes. We already saw that one. Then we have these. Look at that. Isn't that so yummy? And then these little curvy things. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to move it up a little closer so you can see it. So much fun. I have them all mixed up because I've been playing. And then we have this and that side with all the sprinkles. So much fun. So we're going to be working with some of these today. And then I have a surprise project for you guys too. It's actually one of the three that is going to be <coughs> an alternative, an alternative um, card that you can make using it that you might not have even thought about. So I'll save that one for last, so make sure that you stay tuned so that you can see it. So I am going to go ahead and we're going to work with the Flirty Flamingo. And I have to make sure I get all this correct here. So I have all my pieces here. So I have Flirty Flamingo card base. This one I cut in hot dog style. This is 11 by um, 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. And then we have a piece of white cardstock that is cut, I think this is five and a quarter by four. And then I have my inside piece that is, is that five and a quarter by four? I know that I always forget to write my measurements down for you guys, but you guys know that I do post them. This is three and three quarters by five, probably. Yeah, by five. And this one is five and a quarter by four. Okay, that's going to be our inside piece right here. Then we have our envelope that I probably will forget to decorate because I always do. We have our piece for our sentiment. Maybe. I'm not sure what sentiment I'm going to use on this. Actually, not on this one. I'm not. Okay, so 
We have our piece of designer series paper and this is cut it, I think it's one inch. And then I'm gonna just glue that to the bottom of this. But I wanna wait till I get my stamping done in case I mess up, which is most likely that I will. Not most likely, but I might. Hey Lynette, thanks for joining. So <clears throat> let's see, what colors did I want to do on this one? So this is gonna be kind of like a, a two-step stamping. I'm going to move this out of the way. We're working with photopolymers, so I want my mat here for my cushion so that I can get some clear, crisp, um, clear, clear, crisp images. Okay, so I think I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo and Puddle Pink and probably some I should have brought pool party over here, but I didn't. Some Bermuda Bay, but I can stamp off. That will be fine. And then let's see. Um, maybe we'll throw in some Highland Heather too. Okay, so we're going to use those. I'm going to be using these two images right here, the popsicles. We're going to use the popsicle stick and some of these um, circle splashes. Okay, so I need to put these on blocks and I have different images on all these blocks because we're using quite a few of them. And I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to stamp this right. Okay, so I'm gonna mark this um, because I, so it's gonna go like this. So isn't that cute already? That's just so cute already. Um, I don't have a pencil over here though. Well, shoot. All right, I'm just gonna know that I cannot go above or below this. So right in here is gonna be my mark. I'm just gonna leave those there. They're not glued down, like I said, just in case I mess up. So I'm gonna start with some um, petal pink and we're going to use flirty flamingo for our first ice cream cone thought I flipped that right out of there all right um so I need this one is the bottom part and this one is going to be the top part so it goes just like that or maybe it goes this way and this way yeah, I think it goes this way. I really, truthfully, I don't think it really matters. Yeah, I'm gonna do it like that. So I'm gonna use this one in my dark. So I'm gonna do the flirty flamingo. And I'm kinda gonna go kinda catty corner with it cause we're gonna make it really fun. Okay, so I'm just gonna stamp down. So there you go. So it kinda looks like someone took a big bite out of it already. And if you wanted to use it like that, you most certainly could. Then I'm gonna come in with my petal pink and I'm gonna line this up. I'm gonna try to stand up so that I can see this better. And I am gonna line this up right about there, just like so, okay? And you can mix your colors if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. So there's our first popsicle. So now we just have to get um, our popsicle stick. So there's two images. There's actually three. One outlines it, but I'm not going to use that one today. So I am going to take these images off of here. We're going to need those for our next card. And then I'm putting the popsicle one and then the, um, the little thing. You'll see what it is. It puts the wood grain in it. So we're done with the flirty flamingo and the petal pink. I'm going to put those up and then I'm going to bring in my cinnamon cider and I'm going to ink this up. I'm going to stamp it off and then I'm going to try to line this up just like so. Well, it's off centered, but <laughs> you can't do it. Um, and sometimes it's just kind of hard when you're looking at things at an angle, but it's all right. Sometimes when you get your popsicles, they're not in there straight anyway, right? Okay, so we're done with that one. 
And then I am going to come in with some Bermuda Bay. I am going to clean off these images because I don't want to mix my colors, which I have done before. I think you guys have even seen me do it. All right. Then we're going to come in and we're going to do um, Bermuda Bay. And I probably should have done this card a little sideways because we're not going to have enough room. I did not think about that, but it'll be all right. I'm going to come in just like so. And yeah, if I would have done this card sideways, I'm going to stamp off my Bermuda Bay so that I can get um, a little bit of a lighter color. And then we're going to do our popsicle stick again and cinnamon cider. I'm going to stamp it off. Let's see. There we go. That's a little more straight, huh? Or centered. And then I'm going to come in with my, my line. This is, I know I tell you guys all the time that I love photopolymer and this is one of the reasons why, because it's so easy to line things up. All right. So I need to get one more over here. Hopefully it will fit. So we're going to use Highland Heather. And I'm going to clean these off. All right, so I'm going to use full strength on Highland Heather. And you know what? I think this one's just going to go straight just for the heck of it. And then we're going to come in with our top piece. We're going to stamp that off and line it up just like so. All right, then let's see. Oh, we need to do our, our um, popsicle stick. So that is going to go right there. And then we're going to do the little wood green on it, just like so. All right, so that is going to be that for that. And then what we can do is... We are going to actually come back in with each of these colors with the little circle things. And we're going to do Highland Heather. Actually, you know what? I'm going to bring in Gorgeous Gray because I really want it to be like, wow. Okay, so like really dark is what I want it to be. So. I'm just going to stick that right there. All right, so there is that one. And then I guess I will go ahead and use Petal Pink for this one. And we'll use Petal Pink, or not Petal Pink, but um, Flirty Flamingo. And then we're going to use some Bermuda Bay, which is right here. We're going to use some Bermuda Bay. And stamp that right on there. So isn't that cute, you guys? It would have been a lot cuter had I done it sideways. Hey, Melinda. <laughs> ah, he would. <laughs> All right. It would have been cuter had I um, did it sideways so that it would have fit better on there. But, oh, well, it's still cute, right? All right. So now I just want to put, um, I think we're going to do... Mm, we're going to do thank you because happy birthday isn't going to fit because I didn't go sideways. All right, I am going to do, I love Bermuda Bay. That's one of my favorite colors. So I am going to stamp Bermuda Bay. Whoops, that should be, looks like my purple. I might have mixed my colors. I didn't. Yay. Yay scared me for a second. Actually, I think I did. You'll be all right. Okay. So there is my Bermuda Bay. All right. Thank you. And then we're going to put this down here like so, and then we're going to trim it off. And I wonder if I could, um, use with sprinkles on top. I don't think I left myself enough room 
to do this, but I didn't. But you know what we're going to do? I'll show you what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and adhere these down. So, just like that. Good to me. Okay. Like that. And then this one is going to go on top. And just like that. Just line that up just like so. Just needs to slide over a little. Oops, a little more. Stuck to my finger. Alright, so just like so. Alright, and then we're going to trim this off. I got glue on my finger so it's sticking to everything right now. Alright, so there we go. So isn't that cute so far? So you don't really have to add anything else to that. But I, I think I'm going to. And I think I'm going to do it in um, some flirty flamingo because I love flirty flamingo too. So I'm going to put that, actually we're going to do it like that, right down here. And I am going to bring in, I know I have a piece somewhere. This right here will work. I'm going to stamp that in Flirty Flamingo. And we're going to stamp that right here, just like so. And then I'm going to bring in another punch. This punch is the classic label punch, I believe. It is in the annual catalog. Hopefully I can, okay, so we're gonna show you a trick here, if I can remember how to do this trick. Um, I may not be able to shoot. Um, hmm. We could do, I want to do, I know there's a way that you can, um, you can make it longer, but I think that it probably, I'll have to find it. When I find how to do it, I will definitely show you guys, but there's a way, and I don't think that I can do it this way because this is too wide. You stick it in there and you can make it longer. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do it just like that with sprinkles on top. Okay, so I'm going to center it in there. I'm going to do it like that. And then maybe I will, maybe I won't like that. And then, or we could do like that. And then I'm going to restamp this in another color. Like, let's pull in some Highland Heather. And I only need the top part, but. It'll be all right. We'll do this. Um, here, I'll show you this. Okay, so I want it to go right there. Okay, now I get to show you. I can shorten it very easily by just sticking this in there, hopefully, like so. And then I can pull it. I just got to figure out how to do it the long ways, just like that. So we have this cute little... Um, on top just like so and it can actually go right below so what do you guys think that's cute huh <laughs> all right I think I'm gonna pop these up too so we're gonna pop them up I'm gonna use some dimensionals okay so we're gonna put this one right here right here 
pull our backings off and we're going to put this right side up right across here just like that am i straight or am i crooked i can't tell looking at it at an angle it's really hard to see um, what you're doing <laughs> My brother would eat the paper. Yes, he probably would. Okay, so then we're gonna do top right there. Well, that's a little crooked. I actually punched it out crooked, but it was, it's okay, it's okay, right? It's a handmade card. I am not gonna fret over that. I still think it looks great. And then we're gonna put some glue on the back of this. And we are gonna put this right on top of that just like so my card base is a tiny bit folded crooked too but it's okay just like so all right so there is that card it's gonna bother me that is crooked it's okay all right so we could do um some designer series paper on our lid or we could just do stamping to decorate our card um, I actually think that I am just going to decorate the envelope flap. And I think what I'm going to do is take some of these colors. I don't know how well this is going to work, but I want to put some, um, some paper in here to kind of protect my envelope. And we're just going to start stamping all over. Uh, here and here and here and here and then I am going to pull in some Highland Heather and we're just going to fill in with some just like that isn't this cute? I absolutely love this all right, and then we're going to do some flirty flamingo and fill in some more. There we go. And then if we wanted to, we could take some more Bermuda Bay and stamp off and then just kind of fill in with it where you got some um, some blank spots. So just like that. Pretty cool. There we go. Alright, so now we have a beautiful envelope that coordinates with our, our card. So isn't this stamp set and punch fun, you guys? I know you're going to want it. You're going to want it. Okay, so let's go on to our next card. Oh, I didn't do the inside, but that's okay. All right. Let's go ahead and do the next one. So put that out of the way. We got such a mess over here, you guys. I need to organize this. All right. Move this out of the way. We're going to pull some of this stuff away. And I need a little drink here. I'm going to have to get some of my Coke. Okay, so our next card is going to be using some more designer series paper from the suite. Um, this is, we're going to be using this paper here. We're also going to be using Blackberry Bliss and Basic White in our envelope and some Rich Razzleberry cardstock. So this is the paper. We're using the back side to this one that we just used on this card. We're just going to use the back side. And that is going to go on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you guys are probably wondering, how did she get that to fold in that card like that? And I'm going to show you how I did it. It's really quite simple. So this is just your basic card base. base. It is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. Then what I did was I brought in my trimmer 
and I just lined it up like so. Okay, so here was my fold. I knew I wanted the top, top part off and I measured what I wanted off of it. So like so, and I put it right like that. And then I took it from the fold line. That's how I did it, right? Maybe I did it the other way. Okay, so I knew that I wanted um, two and three quarters of an inch for the bottom, but you can make it any size that you want to. It doesn't have to be, hey Megan, it doesn't have to be two and three quarters. But I did that and then I lined this up to the fold line and I put it down and then I just scored, um, not scored it, but cut it up. And then you can take your scissors and fussy cut that right on up there, or you can just line it up to where you cut it and just cut down your score line. So it's really simple and that's how I did that. And that just makes a unique little fold card. Some people call this a Dutch oven fold. Um, but that's how I did that. So that's really easy. I know there's another piece. So then I have this piece right here that is the back side of this piece that we're using too on this card. So I am just going to put that right there like so. So, and again, you guys, I will have all the measurements and the supplies that I used over in my blog. I am behind a little bit on my blog, so it probably won't be there until probably tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon. The um, My Facebook Live from yesterday um, is loaded on YouTube, but you can't watch it yet. And the blog post, I'm in the process of doing it. So hopefully that will post tonight with all the measurements that I used. Okay, so we're done with this part, but isn't that so cute so far? I'm gonna move that to the side. I have, remember I told you in my last two videos, I probably tell you guys in all my videos, the staple that I think that every crafter should have is the Stitch So Sweetly dies because there's so much that you can do with those. And then the other one is the um, Stitched Shape dies. Because again, there's just so much that you can do with that. All right, so I am going to bring in my ice cream punch. And I am going to punch. Actually, I need to cut this because I am going to punch this where the um, Bermuda Bay is more on the top slide it in there just like that okay so then we have that so if you guys are looking at this tell me what you see if you see the same thing that I saw that was just so much fun to um, to do I am gonna bring in another piece of um, designer series paper if I can find the one that I already cut from, which is this one. Okay, so we're gonna use this too. So isn't this cool that you can actually punch out your ice creams with this as well? So that's what I'm doing. I'm punching out my ice creams. I'm looking for the one that I want. Um, and I think it's gonna be this one right here. So I am gonna punch that like so. And I think my dog wants attention or wants out of the room. Okay, so we've got that, and that is gonna go like that. Then the next thing we wanna do is we wanna, hold on one second, let me let her out. Come on. See you later. Okay, she'll probably be scratching back at the door here in a minute. Oh, I tell you. Okay, so we are gonna stamp now our cone. So we have our cone image. Let me show you. So this is, we use this punch. This, the, we use the punch to cut that paper out. Now I'm gonna use our cone. So I'm using this one and then the little markings on the cone. So we are done with the popsicle images. 
I am going to put that on there. I'm going to bring in some cinnamon cider. <laughs> okay, and we are going to, I think I had a piece of fuzz on that. I do. Okay, let's go. I'm going to stamp this off like so. I think that it is going to fit right here so it's easy to line up in my punch just like so and then we're going to come in with the little um i'm done with the popsicles too popsicle sticks we're going to use our little cone markings what do you call these things i'm going to go full strength on that so just like that okay so isn't that cute and then we are going to stick this right in our punch and kind of line that up just like that. So super cute. So now we have our ice cream cone and we have, I got ink on my fingers and I'm getting it on our project, um, our ice cream cones just like so and just like so. So we're going to place those right on there. But actually, I think, I think, no, this is good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pop this up with dimensionals. Okay, so I'm going to put a dimensional on there and put that right about there. And then I'm going to pop this one. I'm going to put a dimensional on the top part of this one because I want it to lay flat on our cone like so. And then I'm going to bring in this one and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put the dimensional on the top of it so that it just lays flat just like so. So there we go. So now we have that. And then we're going to um, layer this on our layer piece here. Put some glue on that. Just like so. There we go. It's not perfectly even, but it's okay with me. All right, so now we're gonna put adhesive on this, but we're only gonna put adhesive on the bottom part because we don't want it to stick to the back of our card. We wanna be able to open it. So I'm just gonna put some adhesive right there. This is gonna go right like so. I'm just gonna center it better. So, so isn't this card super, super cute, you guys? So just like that, now we've got this piece right here, which is going to go right behind so that you won't see that. And this is our sentiment piece. Okay, so we can stamp a sentiment. We can put some ice cream. We can put some designer series paper. Um, but I think that might be... I don't think we will because we have the back lined up. Um, you can punch out another ice cream. Um, hmm. Well, we can leave it blank. And, or, you know what? We are going to do happy birthday on. No, we're not. Uh, um. Oh, maybe we'll just leave this one blank. Um, or maybe we could do... I always forget about my sentiments, you guys. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, we really don't have to have a sentiment on it. This could just be a generic for you card. Um, thinking of you, whatever. Um... We could do You're So Cool. We could stamp it right here. 
Um, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. And I am going to use Blackberry Bliss. We're going to stamp You're So Cool. Okay, in Blackberry Bliss. Um, if I can find the image. Because I had it somewhere. Oh no, what did I do with it? We might not. This is what I get when I don't put my stamps back in the case when I'm done with them. I just found it. It's right here. Okay, so we're going to do that. I am going to have to clean it because... I used it in apple cinnamon cider, cinnamon cider. Okay, so we are going to just stamp, you are so cool, right there, huh? I love it. Okay, you guys. So again, you can decorate the inside of it any way you want to. I am going to leave this blank um, until I know who I'm going to send this to. Um, let's see. I love that. Oh my gosh. I know you guys are really wanting this stamp set now. And your envelope, you can do the same way. You can use some of the coordinating um, designer series paper that you used on the card. Or you could stamp however you want to do it. It's perfectly fine. Okay, so we are done with the ice creams. And trust me, I will be back um, throughout the mini catalog period and show you many, many more. I'm gonna be doing some YouTube videos as well. Many, many more ideas. And I possibly am gonna do um, a mail by the mail class with this. And what that is, is it is a purchase. It's a prepay. Um, if you would like to have the class when I post it, um, you just email me because I'm not allowed to put buy now or anything like that on my Facebook or on my um, blog for to buy the, the, the card class. So what it will be is there will be different levels. All the pre-cut card stock punched out, all that stuff will be cut and cut and punched out for you. You just have to have the, um, the stamp set the ink pads and all of that. Um, if I use designer series paper, that may be part of the purchase too. So you will get um, probably a half a pack or a quarter pack of paper, a bolt of ribbon. Um, let me show you this. This coordinates with the suite. I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to. Isn't that beautiful? And it's so easy to work with. So it'll probably make some projects with this. And you'll get a bolt of this, a half a pack of this, a half a pack of the paper, and um, then you'll have options where you can add on the stamp set, add on the bundle, um, and then I will send you a PayPal invoice. If you don't like using PayPal or anything like that, or um, money transfer programs or anything like that, you can just contact me and we'll work out a way that you can pay it before the deadline. But I will be, um, I will let you know when this is happening. Okay, so that's just a little brief explanation on it. It will be, I will have more detail when I, when I post it and it'll probably be probably next week or the week and a half. Okay, so <clears throat> I want to say it will be next week, but I don't want to overextend myself and not be able to get to it. You guys understand that, right? Okay, so I am going to do this one. This is going to be out of the box, and I don't know. I missed the comments. I haven't been looking at them. I'm so, so sorry. Um, if you guys could figure out what this what this looks like, like that. Um I'm going to show you what you can do. And I think maybe by the colors of this, you might be able to tell. I've got some Poppy Parade. This is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. And then I have a piece of basic black that is, I think this is cut at five and a quarter. Did I say five and a quarter? This is five and a half. This is 
eight and a half by five and a half squared at four and a quarter. This is five and a quarter by four, and this is going to go on there on the front. This is going to be our little layer. <laughs> This just excites the heck out of me. I love this. I love when we can use our the products in um, in other ways that you maybe not even think about. So it just makes it it makes it so much even more useful if that makes sense. Okay, and then I have a layer of basic white that is um, five by three and a quarter, three and three quarters. I am going to go ahead and adhere, no I'm not, because I'm going to put on this. This is an inch and a half, I believe. Yes, this is an inch and a half. I'm going to just glue that onto the side of the card. I'm going to leave a little bit of a edge on there. If you guys can see, I'm going to leave a little bit. This paper you I don't you can't get right now. This is um, this is gone. One day if um, there is any left in the warehouse it you may find it on um, on the clearance rack but this was some of the Christmas paper I think this was I don't know how my Christmas catalog it's been put away um homecoming or something like that is what this was and so if you have any of this paper if you purchase it which I know that some of my customers did you will hopefully you'll have some left and if you are a fan of what we're doing have you guys figured out what I'm doing yet you can make this card too so super cute all right and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off like so, which I didn't get glued down here, so we'll go ahead. Do you guys remember me using this paper during the holidays? I think that you do. Um, it is, remember this paper? It's so cute. I love it. All right, so now I'm going to adhere this down. <clears throat> Come on, glue. All right, and we're just going to try to get this as straight as we can on there like so. All right, so now I am going to put this aside and I am going to bring in our punch and I thought I put some basic black scrap in there, but I didn't. Let me see if I can find it. I know I had it. I put it aside. It was a perfect square. Um, this will work. Okay. So, I'll find it after the live and I'll go, there it is. All right, do you guys, have you guys guessed yet? Okay, so this, we're going to punch that out. Do you see what it is yet? And we're going to punch another one out. And, <laughs> are you guys even on here with me still? Okay, so, there is that. And we are going to put one right here. You guys have to know what this is now. And then one right here, just like so. Okay. And then we are, I think I'm going to pop them up. So we're going to pop them up. So this is going to get popped up and this is going to get popped up. I know you guys have figured this out. All right, so how did I have these go in? I think I had this one going like that. And then this one going like that, just like so. Maybe not quite so, like so. Okay, now the only thing is, is I don't have the bow punch. And I'm not quite sure how to make a bow. So I am going to do something a little, a little out of my comfort zone here. I am just cutting this. Um, I made a little triangle 
And then I'm going to make another little triangle um, right here. Actually, I just cut that off too, too much. I should have left that. So let's try it again. So I'm going to make another a triangle here, like so, and then like so. But I don't want to um, meet the cuts because then you'll cut out your triangle, and I don't want to do that. I am going to trim this down just a little bit because I want to, I don't want it to be that big. Um, where are my cuts? Okay, so I'm going to cut, this may not be exactly straight and even, but this is just called creative stamping. Okay, so creative cutting. All right, so I am just going to cut this in, but I'm coming in at kind of like like that like see what I did like a big there's you know what I just thought of an easier way to do this actually way easier way <laughs> I'm having a hard time seeing where I cut at okay so one more little cut over here I don't want to cut my triangles off. There we go. Okay, so that is going to go right up there like so. Isn't that just too cute? I am just going to take some glue on that. Ha, ah, yes. <laughs> yeah. Take you guys long enough to figure out what this was. Okay, I am going to put that right there that is her bow and then we are going to bring in hopefully um these the in colors hopefully i have oh no i only have one left well shoot well 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 anyway the in color enamel dots would have been perfect to put one there one there for like his suspenders but buttons that hold his suspenders but I only have one left well hmm well that's a bummer I guess we could do now brown just does not work okay how about if we use some pearls and we use some an alcohol marker. Let's pull in a stamp and blend. Um, hopefully this this isn't gonna be the right yellow, but it will work. Okay, so I'm gonna color that with the dark daffodil delight. I wish I had Bumblebee. Bumblebee would be perfect, but I don't have that alcohol marker. So we're going to have to use those. And I am going to use my take your pick, tick, take your tick, take your pick tool. And we're going to put that right there and that right there. Just like so. What do you guys think? Isn't that super, super cute? Do you know what else you can make out of this? You can make, let me show you. I'm gonna use, this is crumb cake. I'm gonna use some crumb cake. You can use darker if you want, but I wanted this to, let's see here, we're gonna use this piece right here. So that you guys can kind of sort of see what we're doing. All right, so can you tell what this is going to be? And then I think I might have um, well, shoot, I don't. I know I have a brand new package of it, but I was really hoping to use that for prizes. Um, so I will use this. Let me um, get. 
might already be over. It might already be over here. Um, no, I want my dark black alcohol marker. This is, oh, I, I'm holding it. All right, so I'm gonna use a little tiny bitty pearls. I'm gonna color this with the dark basic black Stampin' Right Mark, or it's not Stampin' Marker, blend. And then I'm gonna take this and we're gonna put that there. Oops, that came off. I didn't let it dry long enough, like so. Okay, what do you see? Tell me, please tell me you see what that is. And then I can take my crumb cake Stampin' Right marker and try to freehand this. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a very good job or not, but I am going to try. Oh my gosh, that looks more like a monkey than a bear. <laughs> I should have left it alone. <laughs> All right, so you can make a bear face. Isn't that adorable? If you wanted to, you could use some of your punches, your circle punches. If you don't have circle punches, you could use your dies, um, circle dies, or you could probably, hmm, I don't think that will work. Um, I wonder, let me see. If I did like that, this isn't a contrasting color though, but you could put in, just like cut a part of the, um, one of the, one of the, um, things. See how I did right there? Just cut part of that. I don't know where it just went blind to right here in a contrasting color, like maybe a dark brown or maybe, um, like early espresso or soft suede, something like that. And you can make the ears. So is it this cute you guys, this punch? more than one uses. Okay, so I hope that you guys really did enjoy today's Facebook Live. I know that it was a little long because we did three projects, um, but let me bring them in. So we did that one and this one, and then we did our Minnie and Mickey Mouse. And let me show you another sample right here. This was using the stamps and I just stamped them out and punched them and used the sprinkles that are in the stamp set. So there we go. Thanks you guys so much for taking your time out. If you're watching the recording, thank you so very much. And if you're watching on YouTube, thank you again so very much. And remember that all of the measurements and supplies, um, an easy click and shop, for the supplies that I used will all be on my blog with pictures and all of that, um, hopefully by tomorrow afternoon. Okay, you guys, thank you so, so very much. You guys have a wonderful afternoon. Toodley-doo.